Good morning, YouTubians. It's Kim. It's Ghost. Already got my brew going, ready for the next film in the cult movie poster. We're on number 19 already. The next film is from 1982. It's written and directed by Steven Leisberger. It is none other than Tron. Let's put this one on and see what it's all about. So in this film, we do have characters that do play multiple parts. So first of all, we have Jeff Bridges playing Kevin Flynn. Got Bruce Voxleitner that plays both Tron and Alan Bradley. Got Cindy Morgan who plays Laura and Yori. David Warner who plays Sark, Dillinger and MCP. And we got Dan Shaw who plays Ram. Okay, this may sound a little complicated, but stick with me. We have Kevin Flynn, played by Jeff Bridges. He's attempting to hack into a computer company that designs games for arcades called NCOM. But he's stopped pretty quickly by this program called MCP, or Master Control Program. Meanwhile, in the same company, you've got two characters, Alan Bradley and Laura Baines. They have been shut out of certain projects within that company, so they go and see their boss, Dillinger. Now, Dillinger explains it's because... Everybody's been denied certain access to certain areas because they're beefing up security and they're trying to stop hackers from breaking into the company. So Dillinger, in reality, doesn't know what's going on, goes back to his private office and asks MCP what's happening. And he soon realizes that the computer program is now self-aware. And it actually bribes Dillinger into cooperating or it's gonna expose him as a fraud because he knows that Flynn, the hacker from before, is a real designer of its games and Dillinger taking credit for them anyway Laura and Alan then go to Flynn's arcade because they're friends with him he owns an arcade and they go on to warn him that NCOM knows that he is the hacker Laura Alan and Flynn break into NCOM to try and get evidence that Dillinger is a plagiarist and that he's risen through the ranks on Flynn's hard work whilst at a terminal MCP initiates a laser that digitizes matter into data and transforms Flynn into a computer program where he's forced to play games to survive. Flynn learns that MCP has a second in command called Sark. Now Sark is a bit of a psycho and he likes to capture other programs within the computer world and make them battle to the death within the games. Flynn later on meets two other characters within these games called Ram and Tron and the three of them are forced to play the light cycle game with the motorbikes and they escape at the end of one of the games and are pursued by tanks. A little bit later, Flynn realizes that he can now manipulate objects within the computer games, kind of using inner knowledge, a bit like Neo from The Matrix. And that is where I'm going to leave it there. So did I enjoy Tron? Well, yes, I did. It's much better than I thought it was going to be. It's imaginative, colorful, bright, engaging characters, intriguing story. The picture quality on this was outstanding. I know you know certain effects are a bit dated but the time this was released 1982 it must have been amazing to see i would give this film an easy 6.5 out of 10. well did you agree with my thoughts on tron are you planning to see it have you seen it already do you like the film do you not there's no right or wrong answers just put a comment down below i will get back to you i promise give the video a thumbs up it does help and subscribe if you haven't it's all free why wouldn't you and on that note thank you so much for watching Take care and I'll see you in the next one.